EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for May 6th, 2022. I have a lot of information to give out here in today's video, so I'm going to get right to it. First and foremost, our Friday video forecast is sponsored by Mechanical X Advantage LLC, proudly serving Eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, and Delaware. MXA provides expertise in HVAC and power systems and specialize in equipment sales, services, engineering and consulting based upon client needs if you wanted to add or update your residential air conditioning system to something more cost effective to your wallet please call or email them today to talk with the mxa team about your needs they will help you choose the proper system for any size house while using the industry's only do-it-yourself hvac solution the installations are designed to be simple easy and user-friendly there are no special tools required the line sets are pre-charged and no expensive equipment is needed for the installation you can also receive rebates for up to 450 dollars reach out to them at the number or email above me here in the video to gain an advantage they are mechanical x advantage proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. So again, upper level couple, cut off upper level low that we're dealing with today. This has been well advertised for uh, this entire week and it was highlighted in our long range going back a, a few weeks here that this period was going to be cooler and the reason for that is this couple, cut off upper level low that we'll be dealing with. And eventually uh, there's going to be a, a coastal storm taking shape, a true nor'easter with winds out of the northeast and pretty strong winds that's the other component to this it's gonna be some heavier rain involved with it uh, but it's not going to be a it, it's not a sprint this is a marathon it's going to be taking place over several days so you're going to get a decent amount of rain but it's not you know a deluge on any given day okay if that makes sense so slow and steady wins the race here uh, we have some showers that are going to work in this morning it's going to evolve into periods of rain this afternoon evening overnight and again here on uh on Saturday, but I do think that Saturday's gonna be more steady showers. Okay, so not uh, again, not really heavy, but it's just gonna continue to add up, add up, add up, and then we'll have this go all the way through Saturday night. And you might even have a few showers lingering into Sunday morning in parts of the region uh, before that uh, is shunted off to the south. And the reason it's gonna be shunted off to the south is because we have high pressure that's building above this system. So we look at this on Saturday morning, <clears throat> and I'll get to the name in a second, but. Look at this on Saturday morning. Here's your upper level low that is uh, really driving the surface low at this point. And uh, it is going to move very slowly eastward through Saturday night and then southeastward uh, during the day on Monday, but it's or on Sunday, excuse me, Mother's Day. It's going to be very close to the region, though. So areas in our far southeastern areas will still have some showers, especially towards the shore points on Mother's Day itself. Further into interior, are going to have improving conditions. But it may remain cloudy for a good chunk of our area, except when you get far northwest, because this has to continue off to the south and east, and we'll do that on Monday. Uh, but Monday, Tuesday, and even maybe part of Wednesday, it's going to be kind of hanging out here offshore off the Carolina coast. It's going to be sitting there and spinning, and then it's going to eventually retrograde toward the southern uh, southeastern United States. And at the same time, we're going to have this big ridge building over the top of it. So here's your upper level low. This is known as a Rex block, okay? So it's a Rex blocking pattern, and uh, we have a strong high pressure or, or ridge sitting over top of low pressure in this case, and that's what makes up the Rex block pattern. Uh, in this situation, we're going to have this upper level low that is continuing off to the southern United States, and depending on the position of this ridge, strength and position of this ridge, and position of this upper level low will dictate if we have any precipitation during the week next week. It's a low chance right now, but there are opportunities as we get past midweek, like mid to late week, and uh, again, you know, maybe over next weekend, you have some opportunities for some heat of the day thunderstorms moving in. But this ridge is going to be responsible for some warming next week, okay? So let's get over to, um, uh, we'll go back to the European model here, just so I can show you this evolution again one more time, just so you can see that on the broad scale. We're going to go over to the NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar, and I'm going to start this off at 8 o'clock this morning and follow timestamp at the upper right-hand corner as I move the radar images forward. Just showery stuff this morning, but then you can see the heavier stuff coming in this afternoon, uh, and uh, that will continue straight through the evening, straight through the overnight. You might even get a break a little bit in the action as we get into late evening, probably closer to midnight or just after. Uh, but this is going to continue to fill in and build in as that upper level low takes over. And then you're just going to see everything. Everything was moving off to the east, and then it's moving off to the north, and then it's going to start spinning. Watch this spin right here, right here. And everything kind of spins out in this direction, kind of like this. Everything's going to rotate around that low. So you're going to get this pivoting showers that's going to continue during the day here on Saturday. Uh, so some areas might not have uh, much activity 
parts of the day here. It's not going to be the entire day, but you will have these uh, showers just kind of sitting and spinning and spinning and spinning. And then eventually it's going to kind of rain itself out, if you want to call it that. Uh, but at the same time, the upper level low is moving off to the south and east. And then we get to Sunday morning. There is still lingering light shower possibilities in our eastern and, su and southeastern areas. Uh, for the northwest, it's going to be improving, though, however. And here's later in the day on Sunday. Uh, you see a clearing trend on our northwestern side. This is going to be pressing off to the south and east, but it's going to be very slow to do so, okay, until that upper level low kicks out. And for most of these areas that are going to remain all the way cloudy, which are right here, uh, these areas here are going to remain all cloudy all day. There's no chance that you'll see any kind of sun at all in between these two, the circle and this line above it. Uh, would you might have uh, a chance to see mostly cloudy skies, which is much more clouds than sun, but you might have some peaks of sun uh, in between there. So to probably better draw that or define that, uh, these areas right in between uh, these lines right here uh, could see some mostly cloudy skies at some point. Southeast of there, you're staying cloudy all day. Okay, up here, up north, uh, you could have some, uh, you know, make full sun returning by the end of the day here uh, on on Sunday. So not the best day on Sunday either. It's going to be, as far as temperatures are concerned, temperatures are going to be uh, in the 50s today to near 60. Here we have 52 to 60 is the spread above me here in the uh, in the video. You can see the temperature spread. Even colder on Saturday with temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s region-wide. And then Sunday, we're going to rebound a little bit, but kind of like uh, to where temperatures are expected to be today. So it's not going to be a warm Mother's Day at all. The other aspect to this is the wind. Uh, not too windy during the day today, just, uh, you know, standard breeze. But when we, once we get in the overnight, especially late in the overnight, we see these winds picking up in our eastern and southeastern areas. And you have some wind gusts here that are 30 to 35 miles per hour. Wouldn't be surprised to see a peak gust to 40. And then when you get down to the shore points here with that onshore fetch, high pressure to the north, and the coastal low off to our south and east is going to get a pressure gradient wind uh, coming right in here. And that's going to go right up against the shore points. It's going to relax as you go further inland. But right along the immediate shore points here, uh, we'll have some wind gusts here that are 40 to 50 miles per hour. So you're going to have some coastal flooding issues there as well. Okay. Uh, there are statements from the National Weather Service for coastal flood advisories that are going to be put up for those areas specifically. But this is where your highest concentrated wind is, is going to be during the day on Saturday. It's going to start late in the overnight Friday night, continue throughout the day here on Saturday. And then we get to uh, Saturday evening. It's going to start to relax a little bit. And uh, but it still continues right at the shore point. Still sees some, some gusts right along the immediate shore points of 40 to 50 miles per hour going to just about midnight or maybe just after. And then it finally uh, starts to relax here once we get on uh, on Sunday. So it should start to uh, improve a little bit here once we get sun to Sunday. But still, winds are still going to be on the northeast this entire time. Uh, that northeasterly wind fetch is what's really getting it. And again, it's just, it's basically a uh, squeeze play between high pressure building off of the north right here, and here's your strong low pressure. You get this onshore fetch right here. That's really getting that wind going in between. It's a pressure gradient thing. So that's the aspect of the entire system. If we look at the rain map that I have uh, for this uh, that my staff put out today, where is it? Right there. Uh, that's our rain map there. You see everywhere in yellow uh, on this particular map, everything that is in between this whole yellow area here and here, in between, in between there is two inches or more, okay? Uh, we try to highlight some areas here in the area D and E where the best chance is to get two and a half, three inches of rain, maybe even more than that in some places. But, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of rain no matter how you look at it. And that's going to be over a course of the two-day period. Now, Again, after this point, we're going to have slowly and gradually improving conditions. We're going to come start to come out of here on, on Monday. Uh, still partly to mostly cloudy in our southeastern areas, but partly cloudy in the interior and temperatures getting into the 60s. Uh, still slightly below average, certainly for this time of year, but the, we're making a gradual step out process here. So that's the upper level low continues off to the south. And then on Tuesday, we're expecting... Uh, mostly sunny skies on either side of 70 degrees, and then we'll get into the 70s once we get into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We're going to call it partly cloudy for now, but depending on what this upper level low does, uh, not impossible that you have like little weak impulses moving around there to give you a quick shower or something somewhere in that late week time frame. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but uh, the latest trends are kind of pushing away from that. All right, so we'll see. We'll see how that works out, but at least through Thursday, not impossible to see a stray shower or something uh, later in the week, but uh, but it does it is going to warm up nicely. We're going to have temperatures well into the 70s, 
and then approaching 80 as we get to the end of the week next week. So we will come out of it, but we're going to have to deal with these next couple of days here with the cooler temperatures uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and even Monday yet, still not uh, coming out of the woods entirely yet with temperatures still slightly below average at that time. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for May 6, 2022. Have a great Friday.